Yo, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is Google Home Mini. It's 49 bucks, and that's almost all that matters here. We already had the original Google Home, which I think right now is 129, but this little one is a game changer because it does all of the exact same stuff the big one does, but for less than half the price and in a way smaller package. So here's everything you need to know if you're considering getting a Google Home Mini. First of all, I reviewed the original Google Home. I have a couple of them now in the studio and at home. It looks like this, pretty solid. Google Home Mini looks like this. It comes in three different colors, the coral, chalk, and charcoal. And I know the size and the scale is sometimes hard to show, so there you go, right around four inches across. It's like the size of a donut. And when you plug it in, it basically looks like this fabric pebble with lights. I feel like it could kind of blend into almost any room in most houses pretty easily, especially in this gray color. Volume up, volume down, and long press to actually physically trigger the assistant. Otherwise, you can do it with your voice, of course, because there are microphones. And then you pair it up with the Google Home app on your iPhone or your Android phone, and you're good to go. Again, everything is the same here as the bigger Google Home. The only physical disadvantage of being smaller is the smaller speaker here. Obviously the single upward firing speaker can't give you quite the same volume as the three speaker setup of the Google Home, which is kind of a big deal for some people, maybe those who listen to music a lot, but for most, this single speaker is really just fine. Google actually calls it a 360 degree sound, but that's just their way of making a single upward firing driver sound cool. Uh, but it's just basically, it's unidirectional. There's no other direction one big speaker could face. I just do think it would benefit from having an audio jack for people who actually just wanna plug it into some speakers and benefit from better sound. And while we're on it, I do have some other minor complaints about the hardware. Number one, I wish it was USB-C. They went with micro USB. Even though it's 2017 and this thing only has one port, it could have easily been USB-C. Come on, Google. But then the bigger complaint is the mute switch. It's actually kind of annoying. You can already mute Google Home by asking it to. But in the case that you actually want a physical button, the regular Google Home has a button on the back to quickly mute it. You just press it again to unmute it. But if you mute Google Home Mini with your voice, then when you go to unmute it with the switch, you gotta flip it once and then flip it back because it was already flipped to unmuted when you started. It's like those rooms with two light switches, like one's up and one's down, but you wanna turn the lights on with one to turn it down and then to turn it up and it just, it's out of sync after a while. Bottom line is it should have been a button, not a switch. Would have been much easier. But from there, everything else about this $49 Google Home Mini is exactly the same as the $129 regular size Google Home. So all the same commands, the same phone call ability, the same AI, all that useful stuff. Hey Google, find my phone. I found a few phones. The first listed is a Summit 950U1. Should I ring it? Yes. All right, your phone should be ringing now. Hey Google, how long have there been sharks on Earth? 420 million years. On the website sharksavers.org, they say- Hey Google, what is the surface temperature of the sun? The surface temperature of the sun is 5,778 Kelvin. Hey Google, show me essential phone videos. Sure, playing essential phone videos from YouTube on Studio. Is it going to rain today? Yes, the forecast for today in Kearney is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with rain. Hey Google, what's the tallest building in Europe? Tallest buildings in Europe include Oko Tower at 1,160 feet. Hey Google, play a B flat. Sure, here's a B flat. Hey Google, roll a 12-sided die. Coming right up. It's a three. Hey Google, how many pints are in a quart? One US liquid quart equals two US liquid pints. Well, that's pretty easy. So this fits nicely in a sort of a lineup now. They have the Google Home Mini and the regular one and the Max at like three way different price points. And it's still gaining features as time goes on. So like there's stuff that hasn't been fully activated yet. I can't do texting yet on my Google Homes, but that's something that'll be available soon. So that's basically it. It's a mini review for a mini speaker. 
Again, it's all stuff we've seen before, but the main new thing really here is just the price. Being 49 bucks brings it down into competition with all the people considering buying Amazon Echo Dot. That's also about 45 bucks right now. So let me know if that new price point is enough to possibly convince you in the comments below. I'll hang out down there. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.